All right. Three ways to stop fearing stuttering. I'm making this video right now because this is the most common thing that people get held back from when they're trying to speak and they're trying to express themselves is the fear of stuttering. And they really feel like the fear of stuttering, if they didn't have it, if they didn't fear it so much, they would just express themselves freely. And there's so much I want to say to this. And I'm in a kind of weird state right now where I feel very emotional. I'm going to turn on the AC. I feel very emotional about this in a weird way where honestly, I just like when I clicked record, I felt like this wave of emotion pop up. And I don't really know why, but I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna run with it. And I'm... I wrote down three steps that I wanna share with you. And I'm gonna share them with you right now. This is something that most speech therapists won't talk about. This is something that YouTube videos besides this one won't talk about what you fucking see and what you fucking learn in speech therapy and in YouTube videos is techniques is trying to avoid the stutter, but it's never actually pinpointing the root cause of what you need to overcome, what you need to face in order to speak freely in order to be your true self. And fear, fear, doubt, and anxiety is what we need to face. Fear, doubt, and anxiety is what we need to overcome in order to overcome our stutter. There's nothing wrong with the speech. There's nothing wrong with your ability to talk. That's fine. You don't need to relearn shit. You, you need to unlearn the bullshit, the lies, the doubts, you have created in your mind about how people are perceiving you, about how you need to speak in a mechanical way, about the anticipation that needs to be in your mind before speaking. You need to unlearn all that bullshit so you just fall back into your authentic self. And that's why I didn't restart this, vi restart this video when I said that I felt a bit a bit emotional is because I want you to see the real me like this is this is chase and before I even hop into this if you are someone right now that wants to overcome stuttering right fucking now not in a month from now it won't be it won't be available so if you see this video a month from now it won't be available right now I am hosting a six week in six week in a six week intensive that starts in a few weeks, but I'm capping off the amount of people I can work with to 15 people only. And inside of six weeks, we are going to, it's an intensive. So we will be taking actions. We will be pushing our comfort zones. I'll be giving you the exact challenges, the exact exercises, the exact tasks to do each and every day in order to overcome stuttering the authentic way. No bullshit. How to overcome stuttering. You'll be working closely with me and 14 other people at the exact same time overcoming stuttering in six weeks. All right. If you want more information on this, DM me the word stutter on Instagram or comment down below the word stutter on Instagram. Do it as soon as possible so I can send you all the details because spots will fill up fast as i just opened up the spots right now so let's dive into this what you first need to do in order to overcome the fear in order to overcome the fear of stuttering is to get real 
on what you actually fear. Like, the fear of stuttering is fucking sur of is fucking surface level. You don't actually fear the stutter. You don't. The stutter itself is just neutral. When you're in a when a, when you're in a room by yourself, are you stuck in panic when you're talking to yourself? Are you stuck in fear because oh I might stutter? No. You don't give a fuck if you stutter when you're in a room by yourself unless you're really, really, really in your head. So what, what happens then? You just speak freely. So it's not the, the, the stutter itself that you fear because you can stutter in different, in different environments and the level that you care of the, and the level of fear that you have fluc fluctuates with it. So what happens when you fear stuttering a lot? What is it that you actually fear? You have to ask yourself and you have to get to the root of that in order to work on it. You have to ask yourself, what do I think will come true if I were to stutter? So if you're in a room by yourself, what do you think will come true if you were to stutter? You would just stutter and that's it. There would be no more things trailing to that. It's just a stutter. But what happens if you you stutter in a work in a work presentation? What do you fear will come true? Somebody will judge you. The the um, your boss will think you're in. The boss will think you're incompetent. The boss won't trust you to do more presentations. You'll get fired. You'll you'll lose res you'll lose respect. All these stories get played in your brain. That's what you actually fear. You don't fear the fucking stutter. You fear the 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 outcomes you think the stutter will grant you. That's what you must 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 get clear on. You cannot overcome stuttering unless you get to the root of what you actually fear and start to prove those things wrong and see that stutter stuttering will not lead to those outcomes. Once you truly believe that you can stutter and not lose respect and, not, and your boss not think you're stupid and not have all these outcomes, then what is there to fear? It's just like you're in a room by yourself, the, the, the outcomes of stuttering in a room by yourself, hey, it's just a fucking stutter. You you want to feel that emotionally when you're speaking to anybody. So you must first get to the root of what it is that you actually fear. The second step to this is to create a plan where you desensitize yourself to this fear. For example, if you really fear, um, like if, if you feel like you have a lot of time pressure when you're, when you're driving or just time pressure in, in, in general, and whenever you're speaking or whenever you're moving, whenever you're in, in a line, you always feel like, oh, the person in front of me moved up. I have to quickly move up so that the person behind me doesn't like doesn't get angry about me wasting their time. This is something so fucking common with people who stutter when we're speaking. When you're in a stuttering state, when you feel like you're stuttering a lot, the time you you feel you have to speak gets fucking shortened. So every time someone finishes speaking or anytime someone asks you a question, you feel like you have to speak right now. You feel the time pressure you have to speak is so, so strong. And what happens when, um, when you have this is you can't take a pause in the conversation. Everything needs to come out in one fucking flow in a perfectionist way. And when you don't feel like you can take a pause, when you feel this time pressure, you're going to stutter you're going to stutter a lot more and a way to work on that is by making a plan of desensitizing yourself to the fear 
of wasting people's time. And an example that I, I like to use is like when is when you're at a red light and the and you're the when you're at a red light and the light turns green, just to stay there for an extra two seconds, count one, two, then go and be feel all that anxiety of oh my god, I wasted two seconds. Next time do it three. Next time do it four. Next time do it until you get honked at. And you just keep like building this. And what you will see is you prove to your brain you do not die. And this goes in. So the second thing is to build a structured, desens a structured desensitization plan. And this is what I do with all of my clients. So we see what they fear and we build a plan with them in order to progressively overcome that fear. And that's how you overcome stuttering by facing that fear. And that's why my clients have amazing fucking success is because they, they don't do this shit in speech therapy. They teach you speech techniques, but with, with me, you address the real root issue, the real fear that's holding you back and you overcome that by proving to your brain it's, it's safe. And the third step is once you face that fear, you have to re you have to reflect you just don't keep going day in day out day in day out without taking time to do an internal check-in of how did that make me feel and did that fear come true that fear of how i thought people were going to get out get out of the car pull up next to me I'm like are you stupid why didn't you go it's green like did did that fear come true no how did the honk feel uh, i felt a little anxious but then i was fine okay was this fear uh, did the fear come true no it, it was fine it was fine and once you always see it's always fine it's always fine it's always fucking fine and you do this with your speech you lose that fear there's no reason to fear it. There's no consequences that you have to fear because you always realize it's fine. You always live. And you always have been living because you're here watching this. But until you take time to really write out, did it come true? No. Am I still alive? Yes. And you feel that like, fuck, my brain was really lying to me. And you do that every single fucking day you overcome stuttering so quickly. It, you just lose, you lose that, that, that fear. And then you're free, all right? So to go back to what I was saying at the beginning, right now I'm hosting a six week intensive, bringing people from point A to point Z, overcoming stuttering in six weeks. We, we work on the daily exercises you need to do every day, the daily root routines and, and habits you need to do every day. You're held, you're held accountable. You're held accountable by me and other members inside of the group. And we also work on your desensitization plan. And it's fucking beautiful. It's so amazing to work through this with other people who stutter and hand in hand with me having gone through the exact same thing that you're going through right now. So if you're interested on, in this, DM me the word stutter on Instagram or comment down below with the word stutter and I'll send you all the information. Act now because there's only 15 spots and I love you. I'll talk to you soon.